former resident of Ward 10 on Queen Street and on Grand Street. I started as a community organizer with Janice Nato, the share, uh, dealing with slum boards on Wyman Street. My question has to do with how we are going to raise up the essence of the people of the city of Washington. Their soul, their spirit. How are we going to empower them with meaningful work, with livable wages, and stop farming our jobs out to our surrounding communities and towns? All of this toxic cleanup money. Anything in excess of $2,500, you're supposed to see people like me on those jobs. When I go by Tainter and Gardner Street, I see trucks from Milford, Franklin, Millbury, all over the place, and I don't see anybody from the neighborhood working on those jobs. Council Rushton, what do you propose? How do you propose to address getting people who are qualified, able, and capable, skilled, trained, and wish to vote and other institutions of, of learning here in the city, including Quincy Newman Community College, certification programs, and employment in this city. So, so your question is, what's the question again? It's for Rick. How do you do your job? Well, the first thing is, I, I think people want to uh, demonize unions. And they want to say that unions are bad and the root of all evil. And if we got rid of unions, then everything would be coincided. Unions do a couple of things. The first thing is they provide a skilled labor force. And because they train, you just can, you can walk into a union and you get your car. Usually you have to have a significant, significant training and skill to be able to get there. Number two, unions provide, uh, in, in mass, provide a single voice. And what it's done is raised the level of wage for everybody else. Because if there wasn't, they would slash and burn. Every, every single employer would pay the cheapest they could for labor. So the first thing that we have to do is understand what labor does for us and support it. Because it's, it, what it does is it supports everybody else's wage. Because if the unions aren't out there fighting for it, then nobody else will. So, the answer, the answer to the question uh, is what should we do? Number one, we should support and not demonize our, our labor unions. The second issue is, again, we talk about Worcester Tech, to continue to develop, which we have, uh, uh, school to, to, to work uh, relationships uh, with our biotechs, our various other small businesses that are emerging, emerging around here. Number three, uh, to continue to develop what I call the uh, business incubator hub idea, <clears throat> which is modeled after what's going on at Salem State College, where they bring four, they have up to 45 small businesses in one, 10 more seconds, okay. Uh, but it's a very complex uh, question that you asked. I can go on for more than one minute on it. But the bottom line is, I think that if we support labor, that's a huge issue. 